So today we're removing the shifter here from our 73240Z. Now you may be doing this because in this case we're doing a motor pull. Uh, maybe you want to put in, in a short shifter. Maybe you have a shot bearing. Look how much play is in this. But nevertheless, we have a couple of Phillips size screws. We'll remove that. We should have some other bolts underneath. Remove that and uh, that's it. We'll be pretty much all done. Okay, of course I will vacuum this up after I take this video, but nevertheless, put this over here. As you can see, the boot is ripped. Okay, and then we have a boot right here. It's dried up, so we'll certainly replace it, as you can see. And, oh, let me come in for a close-up. It looks like it's just held on by a pivot-type bolt, probably an E-clip on the side. Let me come in for a different angle so you guys can see this. Just look how much play is in this. I mean, there's no bushing. There's nothing there. Wow. Okay, so it looks like it's held up by an E-clip. We'll just remove one end and then we'll slide out the pivot. Okay, so I'm just using a flat head here. I'm going to try to wedge it right here if I can. There we go. And this comes out. Okay. And there you go, that's it. We'll be replacing this transmission too. Chances are we'll swap it out for a five speed. But pretty cool just to see the old engineering on a 40 plus year old car. So that's all that's involved if you want to remove the shifter. And it's really a quick process. The longer part is really just removing the center console, which is just held up by a couple of bolts. And this is what it looks like once you remove it. But right here is the choke. And you have a couple of screws holding the choke to the center console, and that's it. So I'm going to loosen up the transmission mounts, uh, the motor mounts, and then we're going to pull this from the vehicle. So the next time we see this, this vehicle will be pulling the motor. So until then, thank you for watching.